can you do a side-by-side -side of what a normal specimen would look like? I'm Dr. Wolf, I'm a pathologist, and this question refers to um, abnormal cervix with cancer-like cells versus normal cervix. So let's have a look. On that video, we talked about how features of cancer include cells that are many different shapes and sizes, large cells, hyperchromatic cells, which means they, they have a lot of uh, nuclear material, a lot of chromatin, and of course, mitotic figures. So this is the image we showed. Now let's see a normal. And this is a normal cervix. So this is normal squamous epithelium. Notice how um, the cytoplasm is pink. That's the material in the cell that's not the nucleus. Each nucleus is small and round and um, uh, although dark, not as dark as those very hyperchromatic cells that I showed. And you can see it's just kind of wispy. There's not a lot of cells that are uh, piled up on top of each other. And so now let's look at the actual side by side. So um, you can see the side by side here is quite dramatic. So this is the abnormal one right here and this is the normal one. So uh, the cytoplasm is different pink here and sort of purplish here. The cells are uniform in size here. Sorry, the nuclei are uniform in size here. They are not uniform in size here. All of these nuclei are small. Many of these nuclei are large. Um, these may look uh, hyperchromatic or dark purple, but they're not near to the level of these cells right here. So this is not fully cervical cancer. This is an intraepithelial lesion, an in situ lesion that is not invasive. The way that we define whether something is cancerous is that it invades. And in the case of epithelial lesions, it invades through the basement membrane, which is a membrane that kind of goes under the, the tissue like this. And once it gets through there, it has the capacity to metastasize. So perfectly normal with no malignant potential, abnormal with malignant potential.